Mrs. Littlepage, and I am your child's English teacher this year for 11th grade, um, which I am really excited about. Um, I'm just so thankful to be back in person with the students um, and interacting with them face to face. It's been really um, awesome to be back with them all. Um, this is my eighth year here at Casanova, and so I actually have taught quite a few of these students before when they were in eighth grade. Um, so it's fun to kind of see how they've grown over the past three years, and then um, I'm also enjoying getting to know the students that I did not have when they were in eighth grade. Um, so I want to give you a quick overview of what English 11 is going to be looking um, like this year. So we're, we have already started our Reader Writer Workshop, a ton of choice, review of literary elements to help prepare them, um, you know, quick refresher for the Regents exam. We'll move into argumentative writing and formal debates as we read 12 Angry Men. We'll do a quick Regents review um, in December. Right now the plan is still to have the Regents exam in January. We'll let you know if any of that changes. Um, we'll move into Great Gatsby. A lot of the students really love this. Um, and the connections that can be drawn there. Then we're moving into a new social justice unit where the students will have a choice of um, four different categories that they can study. They'll read some fiction and then they'll compare that to what's happening in the world at large today within those um, categories. And that will be project-based um, to give them some, some real ways to apply what they are learning. Um, and then we'll move into a little research unit where they get to look at um, their future. And they can either do some research about whether they're going into the workforce or college or military or um, trade schools. And they can kind of research what will be required required of them um, depending on what they're planning on doing and that will act as a springboard into college essay journaling to prepare them for senior year. Um, now if a student needs any help, um, if it's before or after school, I have office hours that they can meet me via Google Meets. Um, so my times are right there even in odd days and then also within school if they need help um, there is when I'm free as well. This is posted for my students in Google Classroom so they're aware of this. Um, and if you would like to meet with me ever, before and after school is usually the best time, we can meet via, via Google Meets. Just re reach out and let me know. So with that said, October 23rd is our half day for parent-teacher conferences. Um, so if you would like one, please email me here. I'm more than happy to help set that up, especially if you'd like um, one with the whole 11th grade team. So please feel free to reach out at any point. Um, and you should also be in your child's Google Classroom. Um, I have invited all of you, so you should be able to get summaries. And if you need help with that, just reach out and let me know. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, and then I also wanted to let you know if your um, child is coming home saying that they never have English homework. They're telling the truth this year um, because I decided not to assign any homework for my juniors um, to help kind of provide some separation of, of work and school since they spent so much time um, doing school from home. So I've asked that they, you know, they give me all that they have during the 72 minutes that I have them in class. Um, so they are telling the truth. They don't have any homework for me. Um, but I will, you know, grab them if I need to during a study hall, if they need extra help or need to work on anything. Um, so I am really excited to be back. If you have any questions, my email is right here. Please feel free to reach out. And I'm really excited about this year and being back together again.